Aloha hafade talofa malolele bulabanaka in yorana. At a time of uncertainty, it is important now more than ever that our native Hawaiian Pacific Islander Ohana adhere to the six feet of separation. That's one palm tree leaf away, or one carabao away, or eight coconuts away from each other. Know that after this is all over, we will still honi honi each other. We are all in this together. Stay safe and stay home. Brought to you by your local Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander community members. I'm Steve Madrid, I'm from Pipa, and it's too bad we didn't get to have our festival this year, because we do miss you, and things that go better next year, we hope and pray. Half a day, my name's Sam Sampashana from the island of Guam. I'm one of the 2020 Pacific Islander Festival Association Board of Directors, and we wish to, uh, you the best for this year, and hope to see you next year at the 2021 festival. Half a day, everyone. I'm John Kichicho from John Guam, uh, PIFA Board of Directors. I'd like to welcome all of you to this year's uh, virtual uh, PIFA event. Uh, thank you very much. Good day from the island of Guam. My name is Jeanette Paris. Welcome for the 2020 PIFA Virtue. Talo falawa, bau Doreen ala ilima. Hi, talo falawa. This is Doreen, and I welcome you to the virtual PIFA 2020. Aloha. Olo ingo o Rita Gorniak. My name is Rita Gorniak. Welcome to our virtual PIFA. Aloha. My name is Leilani Jacina. Welcome to our virtual PIFA. I am from the island of Hawaii. Aloha and half a day. My name is Christelle Brace and I'm representing the Hawaiian and Chamorro communities. And welcome to our virtual PIFA. Aloha everyone. My name is Mimi Pollard Hewitt. I'm from representing the islands of Hawaii. Welcome to our virtual PIFA. Half a day, my name is Trina St. Nicholas. I represent the island of Guam and welcome to our virtual PIFA. Half a day, my name is Nisik Faji. I'm this year's PIFA president. Hello, Rudy Tai here, vice president for PIFA 2020. We're excited that you're able to join us through our virtual PIFA. This year, we ran into some obstacles, but uh, the great thing is we're gonna actually still share PIFA with you. This is, we're actually shooting at the event today on Ski Beach. Uh, in San Diego. Usually we would be here on a weekend, but it's going to be a little bit different this year. We'd like to thank all the participants, all the vendors, all the entertainment groups, especially a big shout out to Bison Kim and Michael Lagman for doing this and working so hard. Please be on the lookout for our virtual booklet. We're very uh, grateful that you can join us uh, this weekend and every weekend for the last 26 years. You know, one thing about uh, PIFA, we have great Ohana spirit and we want to make sure that we still maintain that and share that. So join us next year for PIFA 2021 where we'll be here in San Diego at Ski Beach in September. I'm ready. Let's All right, let's go. 2021, here we come. Aloha, we'll see ya. Adios. Half a day, my name is Juliana Mendiola and I am this year's Miss PIFA. Welcome to Virtual PIFA. Under the blessings of the late Kumuhula Kehaulani Wilson, I, Mahelani Taisugui, have been honored with the privilege of perpetuating the meaning of hula and carrying on the legacy of hula halao'o, na pua i lima o ke haolani. In now its 30th year of existence, I continue her practices, traditions, and style. Our award-winning hula halao will continue to share the traditions of the Polynesian cultures through dance, language, and most importantly, aloha. With a big ohana effort, we thank God for every day that we get to do this. I'd like to introduce our hula halau and our performance at the Napalapalai concert in November of 
This next band that we did for you is a song um, that comes off of our new album release, Back to the Patch. Um, this mele penned originally by um, Hilo's own, Kauanoi Larry Kimura, affectionately known as Uncle Lale. Um, this mele, entitled Kula Ivi, we featured the wonderful and beautiful ladies and young ladies. And even younger ladies. Yeah. Now's the time to take your pictures, parents. Get it in. Smile, girls. A big smile. So, Grandma and Auntie and Daddy take a picture. When we had our rehearsal earlier, I told them that there was a hype requirement for me. Can you see? Okay, you guys ready? For some time, Kula, you mean these are the young and the young, young ladies. Hello, Kula Napua Ilima Nietelu.
Aloha, my name is Mahialani Taisui, representing the island of Hawaii and your Miss PIFA 2006. I am most gracious to PIFA for providing the opportunity to go to school through the Miss PIFA scholarship pageant. It is through them that I was able to attain my Bachelor's of Science in Mathematics. I am also now the Kumuhula of Napua i Lima, and I'm again gracious to PIFA for providing a small island home here in San Diego. Mahalo nui loa. Hafade. Up next, Vince, San Nicholas, Tony, and Peter. They are honored and thankful for this opportunity to be a part of this cultural journey. Hafadeh and Ha'ani Minago Paratoru Samdu. Wahu si Vince. Wahu si Peter. Wahu si Tony. Antis di in tutun esti pagu. Presentation Mami, Zahu na Barnai un Donklo na Agradecimento, and Saina Maasi para si Anissa Agbaji, the President in the FIFA na Organisation, dan ni Manatibo ni Mutati Fizigui, ni Enona Inendon, the Tatunga na Waha Pago Tetnuritano, the Estegui na Makumbida here, para tapan Ednon. Within the classy, no tatuwa na iman mamaylan na tempo. Pwede siya talo manafak chayit kwen ng Estados Unidos. Dada celebra esti iman gato na na tibun kultura ni ni Pacifico. Dada panen nung talo kwen ng hujung gita San Diego, California. Us sinafo mas ko sa man lispet. Man, hanam pelan tu paben, pas tu iti ba ina, bokatori mano pesin, halimin dio ka, kari patas kwa ka zangun, tori binaru, sa esti na kustum brita, kustum brita moru. And 
bonito na tronco Bela pois manda pá Tanta, tanta, tanta Ele na tronco bola Ai, 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 ai
Under the leadership of Susan Karcher from North Orange County, I'd like to introduce IMUA. IMUA stands for Inspire, Motivate, and Unite in Aloha. In 2019, it was actually their first year performing, so this is their second. Um, their heart is to perpetuate the Polynesian culture as they share the dances of Hawaii, New Zealand, Samoa, and Tahiti. They are a cast of 25 and more, with three generations of dancers, all the way from keikis to tutus, which is grandma. Imua is, is from a variety of cities from the North Orange County, and they give all honor and glory to Akua, to God, through the beauty and grace of Hula. This is Imua. Okay. 
Come on, 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 come on,
Ofu Tao in Samoan means armor. This originates from Ephesians 6.11. Put on the full armor of God so that you can withstand the schemes of the devil. In today's world, we're facing a lot of chaos, so it's important to stay armed and stay focused on God's truth alone. So remember to wear your Ofu Tao to represent the victory we will have over the spiritual battle we face during this pandemic. Jesus is always victorious. Ofu Tao 6.11, Suafa Yesu. Amen. Up next, we want to give a shout out to Diversified, which is a nonprofit Christian gospel music group. They will be providing music videos up next. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Liani Makihele, and I am with Diversified Music Ministry. We are a nonprofit music band, and what we do is we, uh, we hold events, we raise funds for our military especially our homeless veterans. We also support our youth in uh, North County, San Diego. For those of you who may or may not know, we have been serving our unsheltered veterans and also our unsheltered friends on the streets with our hope and work showers. The free showers, it's every Thursday at Thriving Life Church in Vista. Uh, if you'd like to partner or um, just uh, give a donation, we are currently looking for men's clothing and men's shoes. And please let us know by texting the number that's on the screen and you can also email us. Lastly, I want to give a huge shout out to all our sponsors out there. Thank you so much for, for supporting us and uh, coming alongside us and just helping our community. Also for everyone that has been volunteering with us, we do this every Thursday. Hope to see you out there. If you want to donate, please let us know. It's been such a blessing to see how God has been working um, through these showers. Our homeless veterans and uh, our unsheltered friends, just giving them hope. Just seeing um, that big old smile on their face when they were done with a, a shower. Um, so God bless y'all and hope to see you there. I just have a great day. Struggles try to change me I keep my mind on you daily I will stand on what I believe My faith is growing day by day Praises be to His name Purpose 
Up next is Guma Imahin Tautautanu, which was established in 1999 under Fafanagui and Tribal Council member Rosemary Mantanania. Guma Imahin Tautautanu educates about the Chamorro culture. They teach dance, weaving, knowledge of their history, language, and respect to continue the legacy of their indigenous people of Guam. Hafidei, my name is Rosemary Mantanania. I'm a tribal council member of Fefanagui of Imahin Tautautano. 
This year we're excited to join into the virtual event of Pacific Islander Festival. In 1999, Guma'i Mahen Tatotano started its mission first established under the first Master of Chamorro Dance, Sign of Frank Rabon. That is to continue the efforts to preserve the indigenous Chamorro culture through songs, dance, chants, and weaving. In 2002, we were recognized for our efforts and I am certified as a Chamorro culture practitioner in the efforts and missions to continue um, here in San Diego and abroad. Um, sit back and relax. This is a glimpse that we have captured within our community. It is an event called San Diego Business Babes, a nonprofit organization that works to empower women entrepreneurs.
have always wanted a job where every day felt a little different. I didn't want to sit behind a desk. I wanted to be out, be able to help people in a different way every single day. I get to be outside, you know, I get to talk to people. I'm participating in something bigger than me. Lead by example. Conquer anything that your heart desires. STPD, one team, one mission. Aloha mai kako. The Jean Kalani dancers are under the direction of Kahinu Harrelson. They are a Hawaiian hala and have been in existence for over 60 years. Kumu Jean Kalani has now passed on her torch to her beautiful granddaughter Kahinu, who continues on the legacy of the Beamer Ohana here in San Diego. They have been a tremendous part of our Hawaiian community and we're so very blessed to have them here with us this year rides to school prompted his father to say, look at the falls and to see its consistency and continuity, just like that of unconditional love. Here is my beautiful sister, Mahi Lani, to dance Kavai Lele on Uwanu. segment with an Oli beginning with an entrance prayer. Then on to a chant for adornment, followed by an Oli of praise to Keakua, 
Laka, and Pele. When the Oli have finished, we will then share two hula kahiko, Alohae and Ayala Opele, both in praise to our goddess of Hale Ma'uma'u. We ask that you please stay quiet during this time and please save any applause until the end. Mahalo. Oh, oh, who can come? Make a no Make a waka e heleno kumuka. Ha am I naiva mehia. Make a pola kaika lube hime. Te emaina iva makua. Make a loka puoke aiva. O ino e ke kapu me na ali e ola mako a paulo ala ke le mai lo kula e ke kaye ke mal malamon i hau a mali e a mali e pa ke inu ke inu mai la na halo na we ke kaye no na we ka no na ka wahi. No kalua no ikilawe waike. No hane ike aku ike na hele hele ike la ia kiki o hua hua kau a koko. E na aki nu malu ike la ni malu e hoe. E ho ulu mai ana o la ke ike na mau kau. Wo ma ko ma ko no. E pele a e pele ka u ka u ni ana. E pele a e pele hu a i le. E pele a e pele o ni luna. E pele a e pele o ni la lo e E pele a e pele a o kuli pe e nui Ha i na i a mai ka pua na Kahia Ai, aloha ka wahine o ka lua e Aloha, aloha, eh, aloha, eh, aloha, kawaii, mea, kalua, eh, aloha, eh.
Cahill. Kahiko segment, please take this time to visit or refresh your drink while we take a short intermission. And now we want to give a special thank you to one of our sponsors, the Guam Visitors Bureau, the GVB, who are making Guam a better place to live, work, and visit. Please note that last year's PIFA was funded especially by the GVB. So thank you again for all of your support. Our island is a gift that we have shared with the world. But in the stillness of today, our island is asking everyone to give us a moment. To be with our family. If I'm a Gonte, our children, our grandchildren, Itanota, our land, our thoughts. To be creative. Van Hongi, to have faith. To be with the things we know. And the things you've come to love. Give us a moment and we will share one together soon.
We'd like to recognize our 2020 scholarship recipients. From high school, we have Velasi Ala Ilima, Angelica Asuao, Alyssa Gutierrez, AJ Ma'a, and Jamie Marrero for the Jonathan Tarr Foundation. And our undergraduates are Victoria Cohn, Alana Godoy, Malia Huit, Liani Lapule, and myself, Juliana Mendiola. I'd like to introduce Kuturan Chamorro Foundation, KCF. In their movements, they reach their roots. Founded in 1993, KCF is based in Long Beach, California, led by Fafanagui Heidi Shargalov Quenga. They are a 501c3 nonprofit, tuition free cultural foundation. They ensure that tr traditional tomorrow dance, music, and language is passed on to younger generations. With the shared philosophy since 2013, Uno Hit, also translated to We Are One, led by Janice Leon Guerrero, is also a tuition free program based in San Diego, California, and together they share the stage.
I'd like to introduce Faith Ako, who is an award-winning Hawaiian musician and this year would have been the first time performing at PIFA. She grew up in Hawaii and is influenced by her culture and the sounds of rock and roll and Motown. A resident of the Bay Area since the early 80s, Faith has been a member of several local Hawaiian bands and began her solo career in 2007. She is the Bay Area's premier female artist in traditional contemporary Hawaiian music. Here's Faith Ako. But we're going to persevere through it. We're going to get to it. Just press. We eat more. Uh, let's see. A little history about myself. I'm from the island of uh, Oahu, born and raised. Uh, from a town on the North Shore called Laie. Go Kahuku Red Raiders! <laughs> Um, I come from one of the biggest Polynesian families there. Uh, I have 10 brothers. Yep. And four sisters. Mm -hmm. And I'm number 50. Mm -hmm. uh, big family. Strong, solid. Um, and I love them dearly. I love them all so dearly. Um, I moved here to California. Oh, so. 30 something years ago and I've been here ever since but I go home to Oahu at least twice a year I just have to just have to get my feet in the sand and check out Alligator Pond and just breathe yeah so I'd like to share a few songs with you um, off my new album Ku'uaina Aloha I came out with it in March a uh, big shout out to Millie.com yes Punahili Kraus and all the Hawaiian music fans and listeners out there, yeah? They've supported um, my album as well as other great artists all from Hawaii. Uh, for the last 26 weeks, I was on the top 10 charts. Uh, the first female artist out of Hawaii to be on the charts that long. Uh, so I'm really honored, yeah? Um, thank you so much, Puna. We love you for everything that you do. Um, I'd like to share a few songs with you off of the album and um, this first song Nani Laie talks about our home and it was written and composed by Tutuluika Kaio one of the first traditional Hawaiian original Hawaiian families that um, came to Laie and stayed in Laie and helped build Laie um, so yeah we jam them this song goes out to Auntie Kella, Auntie Jerry, and Uncle Lincoln. Mahalo. Nani la i kau i kela ha ahe i kaluna o lani huli la kahuku kalana i ama kahi. Come on. 
song I'd like to do for you is, um, you know, a song that we learned at Hukilao when we were little, dancing every Saturday from like the ages of five to like 12 or 13. And you were lucky if you were kept on the hula group and still kept going. I had to drop out because I wanted to go play. But we did this dance every Saturday at Hukilao, a song called Sophisticated Hula. And usually people do it in English, yeah? But I wanted to do it in Hawaiian. Just try something different. And I really like it. So I hope you like it too. Kaui mai ke kikala E ka velu wana Hula no e au Kikani ana manu Huli ke kanaka E ka hela ne Hula no e au Kikani ana manu Hula hula no na vahine Hula i a hookani kapahu Himea hula no e au no o o e Hula ami ami oni oni e Hula i ke mele Hana ho i ka mea Hula no e au Kikani ana manu Hula hula no na vahine Hula i a hookani kapahu He mea hula no e au no o o e Hula ami ami oni oni e Hula i ke mele Hana ho i ka mea Hula no e au Kikani ana I like to kind of switch it up sometimes. Uh, let's see. Oh, I love this one. Um, a song that I, um, you know, a lot of the songs that I do on my albums are mostly hula choreo chore choreography songs uh, because I work with quite a few kumus here in the Bay Area whom I totally adore and just uh, respect very highly. Uh, there is one kumu hula. Kumuhula Shana Lapai of Halau Napuo Kalaakea that I just love. And uh, when she comes up with an idea and she comes up with a song and she comes up with a dance, I'm like, oh, I can see it already. So when I first saw her perform this dance, um, this melee, I said, oh, Kumu, I like that one. It's a fiery one. It talks about Pele. So here we go. 
O aka e kalani no te, no te, e pele, e pele. Hai a la o pele i hava i e a ke ha a maila, mau kele e a uhi uha, mai ana e a ke no me a e la i a puna e a. O aka e kalani no te, no te. E pele e pele e O ka mea O ka mea nani ka i pali uli e ai Pulelo a e lai na pali e ai Ai a ka palena i maui e a Ai na o ka ulu la au e a O a ka e kalani no ke no E pele e pele e I hea, i hea ka ua e lai a i e ai Ka ale nui a e li a nei e a A i luna, a i lalo, ne e ne e e a O pele ka vahine mai ka iti e a O a ka e ka lani no ke no E pele, e pele Ai na ho, here we go Ai na ia mai kapu ana ia Ai a la o pele i vai i i e ia Ai na ho mai kapu ana ia No hi i a ka no he i no a e a O a ka e kalani no Well, it looks like I'm kind of running on time here a little bit. So um, I'd like to do a song. This will probably be my my uh, finale number. I'd like to do a song for you that I, um, I wrote uh, for this album. Um, we have, I have six original songs on this album that have never been recorded um, by other artists as well. Yeah, never been recorded by other artists. So I'm really happy about that, yeah. Um, the song is called Pulelehua, a song that talks about butterflies. I'll play this song on my piano for you. Visit my website, faithacomusic.com. You can sign up for my email. It'll let you know when I'm in your area. Mahalo for supporting Hawaiian music. A big shout out again to Pacific Island Festival Association, PIFA of San Diego. Thank you so much. 
Mahalo, Bryson, for being patient. God bless you all. Take care. Aloha. Nana, is it time to bring all our friends back now? Hungen, yes. It's time for the world to give us a moment together. Coming up, we have Motu Nehinehe Polynesian Dancers. This is a professional Polynesian dance group and dance studio in existence for 29 years. Established in 1990 under the direction of Babe Uilani Valero. Motu Nehinehe is a Tahitian word which means beautiful island. Dances from Tahiti, Hawaii, New Zealand, and Samoa are performed. Motu Nehinehe performs all over San Diego, Orange County, and Los Angeles counties, and of course, Las Vegas. Some of the dancers have also performed abroad in Hawaii, Tahiti, Bora Bora, Moria, Philippines, and aboard a cruise ship. The group's most recent, recent accomplishments are performing for U.S. Olympic, California State Games, Disney on Ice, and of course, in Bora Bora.
I have always wanted a job where every day felt a little different. I didn't want to sit behind a desk. I wanted to be out, be able to help people in a different way every single day. I get to be outside, you know, I get to talk to people. I'm participating in something bigger than me. Lead by example. Conquer anything that your heart desires. STPD, one team, one mission. Aloha. Founded by Ilima Cam Martinez in 2019, Kahula Ilima serves the Tri-City area of Carlsbad, Oceanside, and Vista. Kahula o Ilima honors her kupuna and the indigenous people of Hawaii through hula, oli, mele, mo'olelo, and hana no'eo under the guidance of lehua kawai kapuo kalani, and Ohelo Lau Kalani Hewitt. Aloha and we hope that you enjoy.
We do pros to the new online video business directory. 
We help people connect with honest local businesses by using video to allow you to see, hear, and meet the company before you hire them for yourselves. Our videos give you a raw, unfiltered, inside look into the company. So before you choose the next business you visit or hire, visit www.wedopros.com to meet the best company to fit your needs. But if you're a small business looking for a new way to showcase your company, visit our website. We look forward to helping connect people with the right businesses. Together we grow, we do pros. And next up, we have Guma Imahe from Tacoma, Washington. Guma Imahe was founded in 2012 by Joel Larimer. As a nonprofit organization, the mission of Guma Imahe is to perpetuate the Chamorro culture through song, chant, dance, and language so that the people know of our past, present, and future. Hafe day and welcome to PIFA. My name is Joelle Larimer and I am the founder and instructor of Guma Imahi from Tacoma, Washington. Today you will see three out of 12 dances that I have taught during COVID-19 and I hope that you enjoy them. Si Dios maasi, zan bulag minayza.
ba ina bokai toru manu kwesin hami midoka kanui patas paka zen kan toru ibinadu se estina kusumeta kusumeni samoru
Today, my name is Juliana Mendiola Silva and I am this year's Miss PIFA of San Diego. I recently just graduated from Southwestern College with an associate in Allied Health. I plan to further my education at National University, getting my bachelor's in nursing, furthering my education at Azusa Pacific to receive my doctorates in nursing. I plan one day to become a nurse practitioner specializing in pediatric oncology. I have been influenced by many healthcare workers throughout the years. My biggest influencer is my mom, Michelle Mendiola. She has an RT at Sharp Grossmont Hospital. She has shown me what passion is through kids, through any everything that she does. I have been influenced by our PIFA president, Anissa, and her daughter, Alyssa Duenas. They are amazing nurses and they, I plan to one day be an amazing nurse just like them. They have shown me the culture of Guam. They have shown me my roots. I want to thank Irencha and everyone that I've met through Irencha. I would like to thank Richard Duenas for helping me and pushing me to my limits. And I would like to thank all my family for pushing me and encouraging me through all my endeavors. And I want to thank PIFA and the PIFA Board of Directors for giving me this opportunity and showing me the importance and young girls, the importance of education, higher education, and following your dreams. See you soon, Asi. Half a day. Right now, I have the honor and privilege of introducing to you Arentia. Arentia was originally founded and directed by Sira Oliva McMillan on the island of Guam in 1995. Shortly after her passing, the family here in San Diego re-established Arentia, meaning the inheritance in the Chamorro language, in January of 2015. The legacy that Sira left behind continues through the efforts of her siblings, her children, her grandchildren, and the numerous nieces and nephews that she has. Arentia has grown and evolved under the direction of Richard and Alyssa Duenas, as well as Arsasia. The group's mission is to perpetuate and to preserve the Chamorro heritage through cultural artistic expression and education in the disciplines of ancestral dance, traditional arts, native language, and cultural beliefs. Ancestral song and dance are the core of their foundation and serve as their continuous endeavor to instruct, to mentor, and to collaborate for greater understanding of the, of the Chamorro lineage. Hey everybody, my name is Alyssa Duenas. I am the co-director of Urentia Dance Group along with my husband Richard Duenas. 
Urentia was originally started by my grandmother, Sarah McMillan, back in the early 90s. It was always her lifelong dream to bring Urentia out here to the States, but never quite got there. So about five years ago when she passed, we decided to resurrect Irentia and start a dance group. For five long years, we've been going strong and we continue to perpetuate our Chamorro culture and hope to grow with everyone around us in our Chamorro community. At the time we took over the group, we weren't too sure about the direction we were heading as far as uh, instructors. But as times were progressed and we went to, uh, we had a trip to Guam last year, we kind of found more of a foundation and what we wanted to help instill in our, in our people and our, in our uh, youth, which is um, kind of knowing who they are, where they come from, and, and to focus on their language and, and history of uh, Toronto people. Um, I go by a saying, which is uh, to know your past is to know your future, um, which means you know to know your roots is to know which way you're growing as an individual and as a person. And that's something we want to help our, our youth, our youth uh, as Chamorro people, is, is to know their roots, their history, their culture, and that way, as they progress in life, they just know who they are and where they're going to be going.
Comic-Con in the middle of about a group of a hundred thousand people and we're out here serving and protecting them make sure they have a good time. Working events like Comic-Con is awesome and it gives us kind of like a front row seat to some of the greatest attractions that the city has to offer. When we have a big event like Comic-Con the police planners that work out the details of that have security in mind. We set up people in strategic positions to actively engage anything that were to happen. We work throughout several different organizations, from Harbor Police Department, from the FBI, to our Criminal Intelligence Unit, from our SWAT, SWAT snipers, canines. On the air support side of things, so many tens of thousands of people are on the city streets that you need to be prepared for things to go wrong. For an event like this, there is a great uh, sense of fulfillment. Going home knowing that all these people come, enjoy themselves, and leave safely is a pretty great feeling. You can't get this anywhere else. Being a big department, big city, this is what it's all about. Talofa, I have the honor and privilege of introducing to you our next performance group, which is Taupo Samoa, under the direction of Auntie Kiki. Over the past 30 years, she and her family have shared with us beautiful songs and dances of Polynesia. From endless shows and international travels, they have represented us as well as Samoa in many different festivals and countries. 
one in particular being the delegation of the 10th Pacific Arts Festival in Tutuila, American Samoa. They have also performed in Tahiti, Germany, and as well as in Mexico, Mexico City. Taupo has accomplished a colorful and amazing journey. Under the leadership of artistic director Auntie Kiki, as well as the band director Uncle Mike, they, together with their family, proudly embark on many more years of exhilarating, ex enchanting, and cultural productions yet to come. We hope that you enjoy. Oh, we know. Who take this far more and more? You 
Dan gumupu si peluma Zat temogi cuangkan doni Asa gani zu peluma Zabunita babai koni And gumu pusi paluma Zatumogi tenetonga Kuasu itanohu Itanohu gwa And kumati si paluma Pues tris di sineni Ay paluma manung watu Zabai toktu sineni Asu Si paluma la 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 ia dao zaman flores salum tanu zan men mai go fit out one more time zan man flores salum tanu zan men mai go fit out My name is Irian Hale E. Ona Lani Stanley, and I am blessed to have been your Miss Pacific Islander 2005. Growing up at the Pacific Islander Festival from the Hokulea days till now, it warms my heart bringing to you all the beautiful songs and dances and traditions of our people of the South Pacific. I am also blessed to be the Alaka'i or the artistic director of our family's Hello, Hale East Polynesian Review, going on 53 years here in San Diego and also to have been able to perform around the world with many of music artists from Hawaii and also from around the world. If you ever fly on Hawaiian Airlines, you'll see me on your in-flight video, and that is a part of our way to be able to connect us across the sea. From Hawaii to here, we are still connected as one. Wherever you go, my message for you is that you continue on your traditions, continue on your love, so that you can pass into the next generation. I'm blessed to be the mommy of two beautiful babies, and I hope that they continue it on within their hearts. Aloha and mahalo. Aloha, talofa, kia and yaora My name is Iri Ann Hale I Ona Lani Stanley, and I am blessed to be able to represent our family and our hello here today. Hale East Polynesian Review, hello o Hale I. 
Hail East Polynesian Review started 53 years ago here in beautiful San Diego under the direction of my mom, Kathy Hale Iona Lani Gore Stanley. Together with my brothers, as well as my mom, and our family, we continue to carry on the beauty of our traditions through song, dance, through culture, through language, and through lots of love. We've been blessed to perform all over the world, including places like Japan, Tahiti, Hawaii, and all over here in the United States of America, as well as Canada. It gives me great pleasure to be able to share with you all of the many dances that we have put together thus far. Sorry, it's a little emotional. <laughs> Because no matter what, no matter where you are, continue to keep dancing, continue to keep your culture alive, because it is through us and through the generations that are to come that will continue it for the rest of our lives and for many, many years to come. Aloha. Aloha everyone, I am Kumu Kathy, Haley E. O. Nalani Gore Stanley of Haley East Polynesian Review. This year, I am thankful that the PIFA committee has allowed us to continue our beautiful festival using our social platforms. Due to the pandemic, 2020 has been a difficult year globally. Even though it has been tough, we have found ways to reach out and comfort one another. For my family, we had the difficult decision of closing our studio and taking our halal online. But because of Zoom, it has been a great way to keep everyone safe and still learning. Today's performance I want to dedicate to the healthcare workers, essential workers, and all of the loved ones who we have lost during this time. We send our prayers to the Leotawa family, the Aswanga family, the Nonasina family, and all of the families who need a special prayer. Aloha and God bless.
We wish you a warm aloha.
You can help us by continuing on the Pacific Islander Festival Association through several different opportunities. The first one is going to be our 2019 program booklet. Within it, you'll find all of the biographies as well as many photos from years past. These donations will help us go towards our scholarship programs. These programs help us to get all of our students to higher education. Secondly, you can purchase or make a donation of $10 towards our Pacific Islander mask. And next up, we have Terehiti Nui under the direction of Janice Minabi and Michelle Limon. Terehiti Nui is based here in San Diego, and they have been fortunate enough to dance in the, under the direction of Auntie Kawi Brown and Donna Merghart. In 2001, Michelle had the amazing opportunity to study and dance under the legendary Grand Ballet de Tahiti, doing shows and eventually touring with them in France. In 2005, Janice and Michelle also danced under the direction of Auntie Riki Liofau and Mavina and Tiana Liofau of the world renowned group Nonusina. Their passion and love of Polynesia dance has taken them on a, on a long journey where they find themselves sharing the beauty of Ori Tahiti through various showcases all over San Diego. Te Tahiti Nui, while only in ex existence since 2010, has also participated in various solo competitions throughout California, Utah, Nevada, Hawaii, and Tahiti. They've won over 100 solo awards, including Best Costume, Junior Overall, overall Vahine, and in 2018, won the title of Best Soloist at the Heva International World Cup. Through Ori Tihiti, Tirihiti Nui promotes culture, history, artistry, pageantry, discipline, and passion. They strongly believe in the power of mana and encourage all their dancers to find their mana within. Yeah. 
Here at PIFA, we're very blessed to have our sponsors support us from past to present. We'd first like to start off by thanking 7UP, also Hawaiian Airlines, the Guam Visitors Bureau, as well as the Hamul Casino. We would also like to thank Saquon Casino, Bay Alarm, sdg &E, and Census 2020. Thank you to all of our sponsors. And if you can't be a sponsor but would like to donate to us, we are selling these beautiful face masks that you can buy at pifasandiego.org, $10 plus shipping. They're amazing. Please support. And next up, we have Hiva Katoa. With their lineage stemming from Hawaii, Samoa, Tahiti, and Tokilau, both Noah and Jeannie Napoleon were born into families who entertained, taught, and preserved the Polynesian culture. With the love, support, and blessings of their teachers, mentors, and family, the talented and very creative couple created their very own dance group here in San Diego called Hiva Katoa. They have now up to 300 students since opening in 2017. Their mission is to perpetuate their Polynesian heritage through the art of song, dance, and storytelling. Yaorana and aloha. Ta aloha and malo ni. My name is Jeannie Napoleon, and this is my husband Noah Napoleon, and we are the directors of the group Hiva Katoa. We were both born in families of Polynesian entertainers who shared the love of their culture through song and dance. Being of Polynesian ancestry, it is important for us to carry on these traditions here in San Diego. With the blessings of our Nonosina family, we created our group Hiva Katoa, in December of 2016. Thank you to PIFA for inviting us, carrying on the traditions, and continuing to provide scholarships, and also taking on 2020 with our new online platform. In doing so, you're providing a sense of normalcy during times of uncertainty. Paftai tele lava. Mahalo. And mauru roa.
right, everyone. We're gonna talk about a sacred bird that we started learning about last week. Does anyone remember the name of this little bird? Poema. Yes, that's right. All right, correct. With the Uriri bird, we have to remember the English name for this bird is the wandering tattler. Wandering because while Me this too. Bird... Girls, quiet please. Hands on your lap. We're listening. If I were the Uriri bird, I'm going to fly over the ocean. I would fly to Tahiti. Vaima is located in a semi-secluded area on the southern coast of Tahiti. The crystal clear freshwater spring sits at the basin of Vaima River, believed to be connected to the mythical lake Vahiria. The water is so fresh you can drink it. Now, this water source is sacred and legend has it that in ancient times Vaima was known to heal those who were physically hurt. For those experiencing anxiety, depression, or any mental ailments, this water source would bring peace within. Before we get started on our Otea, I want you to close your eyes. Envision you are at Vaima. You can hear the spring and the water running. Any feelings of discomfort you had today, you're bringing with you into this body of water. With your eyes closed, you're entering Vaima and you will be healed and find peace. Il papim o te Vaima i muta a i hura. Ile vahi tamara a varua.
And now we want to give a big thank you to our board of directors for PIFA 2020. Edie, do you want to start? Of course. Our president this year is Anissa Afaji. The vice president is Rudy Tai. For treasurer, we have Jeanette Perez. Secretary is Crystal Brace. And now we have our directors. For directors, we have Doreen Ala Ilima. Rita Gorniak. Mildred Pollard. Leilani Jacina. Steve Madrid. John Kichocho. Trina San Nichols. Monique Carrillo. And Sam Sipliciano. And again, we apologize if we made any mistakes on names, but for everybody on the board of directors or just um, a director position, thank you for all, all of your hard work, dedication, and planning.